that one thing nice about our our ponchos a lot of people say poncho poncho it's a poncho but our ponchos are designed to be used they're designed to be worked in you get up there and man you can get some really strong winds and that can turn even even some mild temperatures into life-threatening if you don't have some means of protecting yourself. So, throw on a poncho, even if you just got a sweater on like I've got here. You throw a poncho on, and you can add another 15 degrees or more to your comfort range, to your safety range, just by having the poncho on with nothing else. It keeps the wind from driving into my clothing and carrying away my body heat. But there is, there is more to the poncho too. Our, our ponchos always have been more than just a poncho. Um, it's a poncho, we, we used to call, we call it a poncho shelter system. Well, <clears throat> get a little running here. I'm chasing the sun. <laughs> Trying to get a little bit of Trying to get just a little bit of video, a little more in. The sun is just trying to go down there. I can, I can really, I mean, there's, you can see the little breeze. Not too much, but I can really feel it just driving through this little sweater. And, and with that ultralight poncho on, I didn't feel any of the wind. I mean, it was retaining my heat. So now I've got my Osni on, and I can, I can either snap it into my poncho to make it an integral piece of it. And sometimes you really want to do that. Like, uh, especially if you got some high winds, your Osni or your fleece, if you're doing the same thing with a fleece, that will help to seal off the wind from driving through the crack. I'm just gonna pull my poncho just straight over me here. So you see if you look right here where our little seam is right there you could you could you could get a little bit of something coming in there and if you snap it together that'll help seal all that off. Well you know I can I could sit right down on the brush with any of our HD series. You know, I don't, whatever I want to do, it's, it's not going to hurt it. These things are tough as nails. And, uh, in fact, any of our series are pretty tough. I mean, for years, I used, I used my regular multicam uh, poncho for all, the kind of, all kinds of stuff, you know, cutting firewood, you know, making camp, tramping through the brush and stuff like that. And I never had a problem with it. So, really, any of our line will work well, but if you get the HD line, that, that right there is, uh, you just don't have to worry about it all. You just, you just do what you gotta do and call it good. You know, it's not something you, you know, buy and you use for a, a few days of camping and then throw it away when you're done. This, you know, our ponchos, every one of them, uh, should last you for years. You know, we've got all our, got all our different ponchos. We've got well over a thousand different uh, options and stuff that's available between all the fabrics, colors, sizes, accessories. Well, that doesn't even include all the accessories, just the basic stuff. <laughs> so, we have a lot of variety, but a lot of people say, well, you know, I'd, that poncho is a little pricey. You know, it's, uh, but we're not talking about the, the poncho that you wear at a concert or something like that, that you throw away after one time or the poncho used two or three times in the summer and throw it away. These are these are ponchos going to last you for years, and uh, they're very very tough, very durable. These ponchos aren't just ponchos either. They're actually uh, and always were intended to be part of a system. Uh, they're part of the uh, part of the poncho shelter system. But as you can see, 
That poncho can be worn just like this one right here, but it also can be hung up like a hammock. So you can see right here, here's another experiment. I'm always experimenting, trying things. I'm uh, hanging this hammock up uh, using runners, Dyneema runners, which we have available on our website. Yeah, these are rated at 5,000 pounds, plenty, plenty strong. But I, I run, stick the runner through here, and then I put a, a piece of wood through here. And what that does is instead of, instead of the hammock being gathered up really tight like they normally, they're normally gathered up really tight. So the head and foot end are just tightly gathered. So a good part of your uh, hammock is not usable as a hammock because it's all tight in there. So you have to have extra length that's not used to make it comfortable for you. And so this is a method I'm messing around here with where you could just use, we could supply something, a aluminum tube or something like that. Or you could just cut up a piece of wood out where you're camping. And other things that can be done with the ponchos. Of our ponchos have 12 tie out points around the perimeter. Uh, which uh, makes it possible to hang any of our ponchos up as a tarp in, in a number of different ways. So I've got a little, I've got my little spreader things here to kind of simulate a hybrid bridge hammock. And so I'm, I'm about 20 inches wide on a spread here versus touching. These would normally be around and just be touching. I've got about 20 inches wide and so that keeps the hammock from wanting to wrap around me tightly. Now sometimes you may want that, but other times you may be looking for a little more space, a little more room. So you see I get in here like this. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling, uh, I'm not feeling squished in this way. Everything's more spread out. I've got plenty of room if I want to spread a blanket. Sometimes in a hammock you have a hard time because it's so rounded, you have a hard time distributing a blanket in there. This gives me plenty of room to lay it out, to tuck it around me, and all that sort of thing. And, uh, and now I'm, I'm very comfortable. There's no, sometimes in a hammock you'll feel kind of a hard spot in the middle here uh, where your head's laying. But this is, it's firm, but it's not hard. It's, it's spread out a little wider. I can feel an even pressure all the way across my shoulders <clears throat> and I'm not feeling any pressure pushing in on my shoulders this way. So this kind of turns it into a little more like a backyard hammock in some, in some ways and it's very simple to do. And uh, so I'm going to continue playing with this thing as time goes on but I just wanted to show you something that you can do in the field anytime you want. It's, it's a very simple, simple deal. What I did here. So this is just a piece of wood that had a fork in it. So I just uh, cut the branches off the fork. I ran my saw in here just a little bit. My uh, silky saw. I just ran that in here just a little bit to kind of rough up that little center part. And then, and then straight and in, in line on the other end, I just saw it in like this and like this just to give myself a groove for the Dyneema cord to uh, rest inside of. So, so then all you do is just shove that thing in there. And I like to push it down as far as I can towards the hammock, not keep it up here. The poncho shelter system is, is designed to really in effect to be a shelter for one person. Now there are some applications here where, where this poncho can be set up and give, uh, give you know, protection for more than one person, but, but it's really a, a one person type shelter system. And the idea being when you combine all the components in different ways, uh, it makes it possible for you to be able to protect yourself personally from the elements. And it's, so you got something wearable, you got something you can sleep in, you got something you can make up to sleep on the ground, uh, you got something to keep the wind off of you, the rain, the snow, 
um, all those kind of things. So it's a whole system of things designed to work together, canopies, tarps, bug nets, you know, the liners, the, the under quilts, the over quilts, the top quilts, you know, all kind. We've got a whole bunch of different suspension methods for when you set it up as a hammock. So all this stuff is part of the poncho uh, shelter system. And uh, as you kind of get to know it, I'm sure you'll see the value in having some of these things. And uh, the thing I like about it is I don't ever go camping that I don't use my poncho for something. And so I'm not packing some dead weight that I'm not going to use.